we give it so much importance to our minds. And yet, it just doesn't even exist. It's some random thoughts appear and disappear, and we take an ownership of it. But when you fall into your own, pre in the presence of the vastness of being, you hear, and if you have your own eyes closed, you can't even locate yourself because you don't even know if you have a body or not, because it's unidentifiable, you cannot identify your body. There is sensations. If you have your eyes closed, where is your body? If you touch, don't touch yourself, you have your eyes closed, you can't find the boundaries of your body. You can experience some sensations. And in the meantime, if you are just here, you have your eyes closed, and you're looking, where are you located? Where is your place in your body? Are you here? Are you here? Where are you located? Where's your location, really? So you get even fooled by the body because you think it's real. But when you go in deep meditation, your body disappears too. It's not there because your body falls into the category, category of things that appear and disappear. You see, the problem is that we're not really taught to look for that which doesn't change. When you start to recognize and identify that which doesn't change as the only real thing, then everything else that changes becomes unreal. So why should I invest my time on things that come and go? Why would I waste my time investing on stuff, whatever they are. They all come and go. Anybody has any questions? And if you want, you can write on the chat box. Either wave at me and I unmute you, or you can write on the chat box. Or unmute yourself and we can talk. Hi, Leslie. How are you doing? Yeah? Nice seeing you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. <laughs> um, really well. Happy to hear that. Yeah. Because of orienting to this space. Say that again. 
And only because of being oriented to the vastness of this space. Yes. Whenever I'm oriented to here, I'm so happy. I'm so joyful. Yeah. I filled up with love. And as I am doing it more and more, and I am attached to what's going on in the country, but I'm withdrawing my attention more and more. Like, I, I don't watch the news in the way that I was so addictively. Or I've never really been into news or politics during my life. But over the last four years, I've been feeling comfortable because I was sitting on the edge of my seat watching this spy movie unravel. And I saw it from the beginning. What everybody's seeing now, I saw four years ago. So I went on to Twitter to add my voice. If you know, if you see something, say something. <laughs> In New York, we were deluged with that poster after 9-11. If you see something, say something. And I thought, you know, I do see something, and I think I need to say something. And I'm just going to say what I see. So I do. And it's been um, a spiritual challenge for me because I know the non-dual reality of this innermost place. So I've been in this conflict. So I appreciate so much coming to these weekly meetings because it sort of got me back on track. Great. I was trying, I was trying to find my way back, and but my mind was so stirred up by everything. So like. These coming here and anchoring myself every week has been a blessing. So I, I really thank you for that. And um, it's not, this is not the only channel through which I'm receiving this. It's coming to me from a, numerous different channels, partly because it's coming from within also. And, you know, so I'm just, instead of thinking I have to do something to get to it, I'm just, letting go and relaxing and trusting it to unfold and to die, as it has always done for me. Whenever I've learned here in my life, because I was taken into this place profoundly at 19 years old and then told to find my way back. <laughs> right. So 50 years later, <laughs> in a long and winding journey, <laughs> I'm, I'm finding my way back, as are many of us, and thank you so much for what you make available so beautifully, so generously for all of us. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. I'm glad, I'm glad you're getting it. Yeah. Yeah, that's important. That is important. 50 years is nothing in comparison to 50,000 years. So... <laughs> So this is not a bad time on planet Earth. This is a golden opportunity for those of us who are seeking awakening and are in the process of this transition to the fifth dimensional consciousness. So because we're attached to things to be the same as they were before, like our planet, our world, we want things to be the same. And it doesn't matter that the same may suck, it may be horrible for a lot of people, but basically it's like, okay, you know, I have a relatively a cush life and I get to travel and do my thing. And yes, I voice, I voice my opinion every once in a while, but I want it the same way. I'm happy with it. 